Hey everyone, Landon here. Just thought I'd run you through a common problem that I see in uh, some of the pylon tech setups. So they, they're a, a, a smart battery in the way they communicate directly to the, the Victron system and if that communication link isn't set up right, they can throw and, and do funny things, throw different errors and do, do funny things. So um, something that um, yeah, I, I see quite a bit and, and this is how, how you fix it basically. Um, so th th this is what some of the areas might look like. They might be, you know, like these, these just don't make sense. Low temperature and it says it's at 16.3 degrees. Like that's that's not low temperature. That's that's a good, you know, winter's day in, um, you know, or spring, I suppose, just in, in Australia. So, um, you know, that's, that's um, yeah, co confusing and, and it can, um, just be be annoying as well for throwing these errors and sometimes they can look differently they can um, be different codes and stuff so what what we need to fix that is these little terminators they're only a tiny little terminator they're probably like um, you know the size of the end of your little finger top thing and and they um, they, they plug in I'll show you where in a sec but they they come with the uh, uh, in a little bag of goodies with your with your servo or your Venus GX or your color control or, or whatever it might be is that they come they come in there with them so but if but if you've lost them there's no stress they're um they're about 16 bucks for for a, another two so so don't stress if you if you lost them and, and we sell them on our website as well um, for, for this exact reason to be able to uh, fix these these setups but where they go is in in this is your this is your servo. I, I, I use a servo as example. It's one of my favourite ones to to use. And and in the back here, BMS can that that's in relation to those back two ports there. So in one of those ports will be where a cable goes to the pylon tech batteries to the to the master battery, which is the brains of the system, and he's the the main communications link. And where that little plug goes is in the terminal next to it. So um, yeah, and, and and what it does is that it filters out any um, uh, noise, is is what we normally call it. But um, yeah, it just filters out um, the extra cables around it and that type of stuff, sending a signal through this cable that that's not quite right. So. Um, it, it really helps get that better signal from the um, batteries to the servo and it eliminates those um, uh, bullshit codes coming up is, is the bottom line and, and, and this is where like um, the pylon tech batteries some people don't like them because they don't uh, because they throw these errors and stuff but what I found is that they throw these errors because they're not set up right and um, because I, I I love these batteries. This is what we've got in our bus, which is just next to us here, and and um, I, I put them in a lot of systems for people too. Because I, I love being able to remotely log in and, and see what's going on inside of the battery, and and we can sell let tell lots of information from from having that communications with the Victron. So um, so yeah, and it it only needs to go in that hole here next to it. Um, none of these other holes require them that. They're a bit more of a um, you know basic communication, so it, it's in the in the hole right next to the pylon tech cable that it needs to go. But but yeah, that's um, that's my little trick with getting the the pylon techs to to work well. But um, if you've got any more questions around the pylon tech batteries and um, and that type of stuff, let me know. We've been running them now for for two years, I think, in our bus, and um, yeah, there's. Um, there's a few little tricks like this that get them up and running sweet, but then, um, yeah, otherwise it's um, been happy days for us. But yeah, good on you guys. Let me know in the in the comments about your pylon tech questions, and I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you.